All right, clap sync. Hey guys, welcome back to GTV Studios. Uh, now, you guys seem to have liked the last episode of our podcast, so we're just going to keep doing them, and we're just going to, you know, keep rolling the ball, keep eating the banana, keep peeling the oranges, and we have a special guest here today that's supposed to be here every day, but unfortunately, last time, we just, things couldn't vibe. We have Will. Woo. I'm here for once. <laughs> Hopefully, but yeah, so we're just gonna keep doing the podcast. Don't know why I switched accents there. So, Will, first yeah. topic uh, is about e-learning slash r learning, whatever. What are your thoughts about it? Like, what do you like or dislike about it? What's the dealio? So let's see, e-learning. Um, what I like about it is probably that I can spend most of my classes. I can do it in probably about two or three hours. What I don't like about it is that math takes me about two or three hours. <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. if that's just because e-learning or if it's my teacher. It's probably just my teacher, but still. <laughs> um, but anyway, actually on e-learning, um, I'm honestly, I'm not a huge fan because I'm the kind of person that learns by like seeing and them helping me out through it. And so it's kind of hard just having them like send me a video and then I have all these questions that don't get answered. So I have to go to my smarter twin sister. <laughs> um, I actually like e-learning. It's, it's difficult. It's, just, it's a big change, but I, I like it. I like how for some classes you could do them all on one day and then like for the rest of the week, you don't have to do them, which is super nice. Mm -hmm. um, I guess most classes are pretty easy for me personally just like for e-learning but other classes obviously are a bit difficult just because there's like not a teacher and there's not like a you know like physical like you're there connection it's very different but i wonder how this will like change in the future like are we going to do more e-learning in the future like if even if we don't even have a pandemic or whatever i doubt we would because i mean you know there's no reason to i guess no I, I mean like if it was like um like i don't know oh like a snow day yeah yeah like a snow day like maybe teachers would have like something like a lesson or something backed up and then like we wouldn't have to lose a day of the summer that would be really nice i like so. snow days so i would rather <laughs> we just have the day off i don't know though but like would you rather have a snow day or would you rather have like an extra day like in the summer a snow and it's like day. really nice outside because you'd rather have a snow day yeah because that one snow day it's like a quick break because you're in the middle of school and it's really stressful but then yeah. you're not gonna remember that one extra day of summer like how many days are there in summer like 104 yeah. days of summer vacation the vacation is yeah, around there just go. to end it for the annual problem of our generation yeah, just finding kind of a good way to spend, spend it. it so <laughs> like maybe <laughs> all right we can probably stop um <laughs> <laughs> So anyway. I, I would rather have a summer day. Dep well, depending on the day of the snow day. If it's like a Friday, like, no, I don't want to waste a snow day on a Friday. I'm already not gonna, I'm, I'm already not in the, like, stressed mindset on Fridays. So, yeah. I don't know. Also, I just like winter better than summer. Oh, okay. I like the cold. I am a- <laughs> Cold boy. I am a cold boy. <laughs> Unlike you, who is incredibly hot. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um. Uh. Yeah, no thanks. Um. Okay, so. 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 So, Geo, has anything interesting happened from our last recording? Oh my gosh, yes. So much interesting things happened. So I slept and played video games. What have you done? Um, what have I done? So basically, um, I've seen a lot of TV shows, like late night shows, uh, like SNL to, uh, yeah, just like a bunch of those shows move on to YouTube right now. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. I mean, they could go on to like their own 
like network or whatever but i think youtube's the best option for everybody right now and the questions with that i have is how are youtube's servers going to handle that how is like how is like streaming their shows gonna be like are they still gonna have people pay for it or is it just gonna be free to watch is I don't know, and especially like for content creators that are already on YouTube, is that going to be difficult for them to like still make it to like the recommended pages if all that's showing up is just like the late show, the tonight show, SNL? Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, it definitely makes a lot of sense. Um, but I think that one thing that I really don't like that YouTube is doing is that if you say the name of the pandemic, then your video gets demonetized or like it's in yeah. the guidelines that you can't say it like yeah. i don't understand that it's you know i feel like everyone knows about it it is something i still think we shouldn't be afraid of it like there we should be cautious we should take all necessary precautions but we should not be afraid of it and you know i feel like we should be able to say it instead of giving it all this power i mean it's I not it's not voldemort <laughs> I, I agree that, like, we should be able to say, we should be able to talk about it on YouTube, I think, because, like, it's good to have information. I understand if people are maybe taking advantage of it, uh, like, just, like, for views, or if they're making fun of it, or, like, making a skit out of it, which, like, it's, it, when you start putting it into comedy, it's where it gets, like, iffy. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, informational, like, yeah, I think it's a good idea to have people know, and if there's any new information, obviously. Yeah, and I think that one thing that I haven't really realized until recently is how many people this is affecting, uh, specifically. Like, we have the unemployed, the essential workers, the people who have the virus, and also like the senior class of this year. Like they didn't get to finish off their year, their final year. And I feel like, you know, yeah, that's gotta hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, there's definitely levels of who this is hurting. Mm -hmm. Like top is people. I, I don't like, really think there even is like a ranking system. We think, I think we just all need to realize that we're all struggling, and if we're gonna get through this, you know, everyone's gotta stay inside, wash their hands, and, mm -hmm. you know, just be, I guess, the model citizen right now. No, for sure, yeah. Definitely a great idea to keep doing those things. And also, if you get bored or stuff, like, don't go to the mall and, like, shop when it's, like, unnecessary, you know? Like, pick yeah. up a new hobby, maybe do something productive. Um, Obviously, if you just want to stay in bed and watch TV, go for it. It's uh, better than going outside and risking yourself and others' lives. So, yeah. yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching our GTV podcast with video extravaganza part two. Um, yeah, guys. <laughs> so if you uh, have any suggestions for topics that you guys would want us to talk about uh, or just any suggestions for this podcast in general, be sure to head over to our Instagram, uh, GTV underscore studios. Uh, be sure to comment on our posts or you can go to our stories and uh, just like click on the polls and stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye, guys. Do we connected it to the audience? My man. <laughs> My man's out here connecting with the viewers. <laughs>